Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report, incoming with a new update, and that is the version 22160. Microsoft seems to go silent this week, as the updates have little improvements, and this is by far the update with the least changes until now. But big news, we start with the first official ISO release for the Windows 11 Insider Preview build 22132, and you can find it on the Windows Insider Preview Downloads place. The ISOs can be used to do a clean installation or an in-place upgrade. But since many of us are insiders, this is not needed at the moment. But hey, at least the official ISOs are safe to download unlike many risky files available already on the internet. As you use these ISOs to install Windows 11, you will go through the new Windows 11 setup experience. Microsoft refers to it as an OOBE or out-of-box experience, which is designed to build excitement for Windows 11 straight from the moment you first turn on a new Windows PC. So yeah, I really don't know what this means, but probably you won't get birthday cake. In the same time, the ability to name your PC during the setup experience has been added. I mean, wasn't this before as well? Anyways, it sounds cool. So when it comes to changes, just a few. Windows rolls out the new Clock app. Right now the app update has begun rolling out, so if you don't see it right away, just keep checking. I also tried checking if the Clock app is available, but it doesn't seem like it has been updated yet. In the meanwhile, you can also look at your watch, as the time will be the same. But the clock will be more interesting this time. Because not only does the new Clock app has new visuals so that it looks beautiful in Windows 11, it also includes a major new feature and that is Focus Sessions. The Focus Timer is basically a stopwatch that helps you get your tasks done, and it will also be integrated and mashed up with Spotify as well. So basically what you'll get is a timer which you can schedule stuff with and have music in the background as well. And I guess this will help you work better. For me, it sounds really good, as I've read music and timers really help with being more organized and getting the job done. So good one, Microsoft. You can as well set daily goals which you can increase to build healthy digital habits, as Microsoft says, which seems super nice, but in the end, I think it's only up to us to make the changes we've been looking for. And another change which is for me insightful but useless, Windows is providing estimates for how long a restart for updates would take. When your PC is rebooting for a quality update, you will be able to see estimates on your power menu under Start, in Restart Notifications, on the Windows Update Settings page and inside the Windows Update icon that shows up at the lower right of the taskbar. This feature is rolling out to a subset of insiders in the dev channel at first, so not everyone will see this right away. So don't worry too much about that, as personally I think this is not very useful. And that's pretty much for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this short session, until next time, good luck with the new version of Windows. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.